Today we'll be creating this map animation in After Effects. You'll be able to download this project file. The link will be there in the description down below. So if you open the project file, you'll see these two vector files. One is the map and the other is the boundaries, right? So I'm going to open this map inside this Illustrator and I'm going to import it inside After Effects as well. And I'm gonna create a composition and drag it inside this composition, right? So go ahead and create a solid and I'll rename this Russia, hit OK. And I'll go to this Illustrator file. I'll select all, Control A. And I'm gonna set the stroke to none because I don't need the stroke. And I'll select this direct selection tool and I'm gonna grab this map the Russia map, right? So control C to copy the path and go to After Effects and select this solid, control V to paste. So you just have the Russia map and you know, you can just reposition it inside this map. You have a pixelated map right now. So if you check this and check this, you have a sharper map. I'll do the same for the rest, right? So let's go ahead and create a solid and rename this China and go back to Illustrator and select this China map, control C to copy and paste it. All right, I'll just do quickly and I'll be back after I'm done. All right, once you're done with the map, you can just drag in the map boundaries inside this and select all the maps and the boundaries that we've just imported and parent this to the map and make sure to turn on this gear icon for the map boundaries so that you have a sharper image select the map hit s on the keyboard to bring up the scale and scale it up my youtube data shows me that only 14 percent of my viewers are subscribed and another 85 percent are not subscribed to the channel and if you are among those 85% not subscribed, then I request you to subscribe to the channel. Once you have that, let's go ahead and texture the maps, right? Let's turn off everything except for the map, main map. All right, let's go ahead and texture the main map. Let's go and grab the texture and drop it inside the composition and select these two alpha mat and you have that. Toggle this and set this a 3d layer all this a 3d layer and let me pre-compose this map and the texture Control shift and c i'll rename this main map right so hit ok and make this a 3d layer back right so let's drag and drop the background create a new solid and drag this at the bottom of all the layers select the background hit t on the keyboard and hit set the opacity to 50 right so let's go and texture this russia right so all right we'll do the exact same process for this russia but this time we're, we're gonna select this texture too drag and drop it and make this a 3d layer as well and maybe i'm gonna scale it down and set this somewhere here to just cover the russia map right so Hit 4 to toggle the switch and set this to alpha mat and select Russia map and the texture control shift and C to pre-compose Russia, right? So hit OK and make this a 3D layer as well. Go inside this. I want to add a curves, curves adjustment, drag and drop it on the texture and you can give a little contrast here. And what I did was add a Russia text here. Russia. And scale it down. Right, and pick a color, something like this. And I set the blending mode of this to overlay like this, right? So close this out and you see this. And let me do the same for China. Let's drag and drop the texture. Scale it down. 
I'll do the same for China as well. Maybe this time the lighter F4 and change this to alpha and pre-compose this. China, hit OK. Make this a 3D layer. Go inside China and you can add a text. Let me just copy from the, let me just copy from Russia. Russia. And you know, China. China and curves to the texture. And I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast, something like this. Right, so go back to the main and I'll do the same for Kazakhstan and drag and drop the texture and change this to alpha and control shift and C, pre-compose, okay, and make this a 3D layer, go inside this, Kazakhstan, and now I'm gonna paste the text, Kazakhstan. And what I'm gonna do is create, you know, this should be a 3D as well, right? So let's go and create a camera which is an 18 millimeters hit ok and what I like to do is create a new a new null object and make this a 3d layer and parent this to the null object all right so hit C on the keyboard until you get this tool drag and dolly inside the camera hit C on the keyboard to switch different modes of the camera and go to this part of the map like this you can rotate it like this and you can add an animation right so select the camera hit p hold down shift and a set a keyframe here and select the null hit p hold down shift and r and i'm going to Set a keyframe on these two, position and orientation. So hit U to just bring up the keyframes, you know. So I am going to pick one starting point and maybe at nine seconds, I want to go out a little bit and make the animation something like this, rotation, I mean, and reposition it somewhere here or maybe dolly out even more for now right now you can see the map is kind of just flat and we're gonna turn on the map boundaries which makes it a little bit nice and i'm going to add a fill to this map boundaries and select the color which is the text color go and select this russia and add a drop shadow in this Russia map like this you can play with the distance and rotation as well say 10 and I'm I can copy the drop shadow and paste it on all the maps the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mask out the map and reveals reveal the map one by one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this grunge ink and just drop it on top of the main map and i'm gonna change this to 3d layer and i'll shut this map boundaries off for now and f4 to toggle the switch and set this track mat to luma mat and it mask out like this right so we'll reveal like this so what i'm gonna do is select this grunge right click time enable time remapping and go just before the end and set a keyframe delete the last keyframe and extend it to the end right so and i'm gonna shift this push this towards the beginning of the keyframe so that it reveals quicker and what i'm gonna do next is the same but we're gonna use a different mask for Russia, China, and Kazakhstan, right? So drag and drop this uh, grunge 
map just on top of Russia like this and switch this to a 3D layer and select this and Luma map like this, right? So reposition this somewhere here and like this and you can reposition the and scale down the mask like this and place it on top of Russia and make sure it covers the entire Russia like this right we're gonna do the same right click time enable time remapping go to maybe here set a keyframe for the time remapping delete the last keyframe and extend this to the end right i'm going to change the color to yellow so that i can see it and what i'm going to do is duplicate this control d to duplicate and move it just above china and what i'm going to do is change china and luma man like this right so so right after you change this china disappeared just because the mask is not on top of the map so you can drag it down where the map is what i did was offset the timing so that you have russia and china and then kazakhstan let me go ahead and duplicate this control d and put it just on top of kazakhstan and change this the same and what i did was shift this on top of kazakhstan and you might want to scale it down and make sure you cover up the entire map russia china and kazakhstan you can play with the timing of this i'm just uh keeping it in a random uh, timeline just to for the sake of this tutorial right so and what i did was duplicate another copy and on top of the map boundaries and i did the same for this map boundaries right so something like this and make sure to scale to scale this up so that it reveals the map boundaries like this and you can you know shift it towards the beginning all right once you are done with the map masking let's go ahead and create create a new solid and rename this grid hit ok and set this a 3d layer and go to the effects and presets and search for grid so generate grid and drag and drop this right now you can see the grid i'm going to decrease the border to one like that and you can hit p on the keyboard and set this to a negative 20 so that it's elevated from the from the ground so that you have a little bit of depth what i did in the original example was set a keyframe for the anchor maybe at five or six seconds and go back to the first keyframe and set this to zero so that the grid animates throughout the timeline like this what i did again was add a point this is the overlay i won't be showing you how to create this if you if you want to learn how to create this kind of overlay you can check this video you can find it from the card above and you can create this kind of uh, you know overlays right so i've already created this so let's go back in the main map and this is the point let's drag and drop this in the map and make this a 3d layer and find it here scale it down make sure you move it on the handles otherwise if you move it around freely it's gonna cause you a little bit problem because you're gonna move the y-axis which will make this layer disappear right so i suggest you to move the layers the x and y axis only all right so let's set this like this and i'm gonna set this blending mode to overlay duplicate this Control d and move this to china and move this so right after right after russia reveals here i want the first point to come up right so somewhere here and after right after china reveals i want this to come up right after something like that right so once i have repositioned these points let me go ahead and create a, a shape layer 
which is a 3D layer and grab a pen tool. Let me go ahead and create, grab a pen tool. I know I don't want any fill. I just want a stroke of two pixel and select this point. And, you know, I'm gonna draw a path to the next point like this. So you don't have to be perfect. Right at this point, the the path will start animating itself. So I will set the time indicator at that point in the timeline and collapse this. Go in add and add a trim path. Sorry, that's twist. Trim path, right? So collapse this and set this end to zero, set a keyframe and scrub through the timeline. And at the point where this X reveals, you can set this to 100, right? So. Right now, if you zoom in, you have a very hard edge. So I really don't like this. So go inside this shape, stroke, and change this line cap to round cap. What I also did was add a glitch overlay, drag and drop it inside, scale it down because that's 4K, and hit F4 to toggle the switch, set this to screen. So that makes it really nice and cool. Right, so so the final step I did was go inside the camera and camera options and turn on the depth of field, which makes it really nice, right? So maybe I'll increase the aperture. The higher the aperture, the more shallow the depth of field is. So that is how simple it is to create this kind of map animation. I hope you learned something from this. If you haven't watched, this videos you can watch my videos and if you haven't subscribed to my channel i highly suggest you to subscribe this is motion designer and i will see you in my next video